An analogy is a comparison between things that have similar features, often used to help explain a principle or idea. For example, here's a quote from psychiatrist Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. People are like stained glass windows. They sparkle and shine when the sun is out, but when the darkness sets in, their true beauty is revealed only if there's a light from within. The analogy here is between stained glass windows and people. It is a creative comparison that illuminates a point. It is easy for a person to be good and jolly when things are going well, and not so easy to share these same sentiments when problems occur. Now you may think, hmm, this sounds like a metaphor, and you'd be partly correct. Metaphors can be used in analogies. However, what sets an analogy apart from a metaphor is that an analogy seeks to explain something, while a metaphor does not. Here's another example of an analogy by humorous P.G. Woodhouse. It has been well said that an author who expects results from a first novel is in a position similar to that of a man who drops a rose petal down the Grand Canyon of Arizona and listens for the echo. The analogy here is between an author's expectation from a first novel and dropping a rose petal into the Grand Canyon while expecting an echo. It is an outrageous analogy, and that is the point. Woodhouse is demonstrating that a writer's expectation for his or her first novel should be grounded in reality. You wouldn't expect to hear the echo of a rose petal dropped into a canyon, would you? Of course not. So you should have realistic expectations for writing a first novel as well. Now it is your turn to identify the analogy in the following three examples. Besides identifying what two things are being compared, be ready to explain the significance of the comparison. Oh, and for number four, be ready to create your own analogy. Good luck.